Hi, Miss Ginny here. Welcome and please join me in praying the Stations of the Cross. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The leaders of the people brought Jesus before Pilate, the Roman governor. He wanted to set Jesus free, but the people demanded that Jesus be put to death. Pilate washed his hands to show he was not guilty of the blood of Jesus, and then he sent him out to be nailed to the cross. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, many times people don't seem to understand me. Sometimes they are unfair. You accept me when I make mistakes. Help me to accept others when they make mistakes. Help me to forgive as Jesus did. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers treated Jesus with great cruelty. They beat him and placed a crown of thorns on his head. Now they led him outside and placed the wood of the cross on his shoulders. They made him carry the cross as they led him to the place where he would die. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, you carried your cross without complaint. Sometimes I get upset when people ask me to do things for them. When I am tempted to complain, help me to remember you and the cross you carried for me. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus had not been allowed to sleep all night, and he was now exhausted. He had been beaten and whipped, and he was nearing the end of his strength. Even as he tried to walk along, the soldiers continued to push and shove him. Finally, it was too much for him, and he fell down. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, I know there are many times when I give up before I should. When I fall, help me get up again and keep going. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother, Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As the soldiers dragged Jesus through the streets, they led him to the place where Mary, his mother, was standing. Mary felt such great sorrow to see her only son suffering such horrible pain. Yet Jesus had assured her that he must fulfill the Father's will. So she surrendered her son to the will of the Father. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, when I feel alone, help me to remember to turn to my parents for help, and most of all, you. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers realized that Jesus was too weak to carry his cross all the way to Calvary. They began to worry that he might die along the way. So they forced a man who was standing nearby, Simon of Cyrene, to carry the cross for Jesus the rest of the way. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, sometimes I pretend not to hear when my parents call me. I leave when I know others could use my help. You gave help to everyone. When you needed help, you accepted it. Help me to give and accept help. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was now totally exhausted. Many of the people around him mocked him and spit at him. One courageous woman named Veronica came forward and wiped the face of Jesus with her veil. God rewarded her loving kindness by causing an image of the face of Jesus to appear on her veil. 
Let us pray. Dear Jesus, there are times when I see someone that is being picked on. There are times when I see someone that is sad. Just as Veronica wiped your face to comfort you, help me to always help others in whatever way I can. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers kept leading Jesus along, but he continued to grow weaker and weaker. Once again, his strength failed him, and he fell to the ground. The soldiers immediately forced him to get back on his feet and to continue his cruel journey. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, you didn't give up. Sometimes when things get hard for me, it's hard to keep trying. I want to quit. Help me to keep trying when things get hard and when I fall. Help me to not give up. The eighth station, Jesus meets the weeping women. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As Jesus struggled along, he encountered a group of women who were weeping for him. He looked up and told them that they should not weep for him, but rather for themselves and their children. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, you stop to help those in need. I get selfish at times and think only of myself. Help me to reach out to others as you did. Help me to see the needs of others and put their needs above mine. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus' strength now failed him completely. He was near the place where he was to be crucified, but he could not go another step. He fell to the ground, ready to die there. But once again, the soldiers forced him up, and Jesus somehow found the strength to finish his terrible journey. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, help me to see that nothing is greater than you. Almighty Father, thank you for sending Jesus to us. Help me to always follow him. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they reached the place where Jesus was to die, the soldiers ripped off the robe that Jesus had been wearing. They were going to cut it up into pieces to divide among themselves. But when they saw it was made from one piece of cloth, they decided to roll dice for it. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, you set an example of truth, humility, and love. Help me to set a good example for others to follow. Help me to always be respectful and follow your example. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers then threw Jesus to the ground and began to nail him to the cross. They used one nail for each of his hands and one for both of his feet. Jesus felt horrible pain as they were driving the nails into his flesh. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, sometimes I say or do hurtful things to others. You stretched your arms of love on the cross. Help me to bring your love to others and cause them no hurt. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was crucified at noon, and he hung on the cross for about three hours. Even then, he did not forget his love for us. When the end was near, he looked up into the heavens and said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Then he gave his spirit over to the Father and breathed his last. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, 
Death is hard for us to understand. Remind us always that faith will carry us through our losses. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As evening approached, some of the disciples went and asked Pilate for permission to take down the body of Jesus. They lowered him to the ground and placed him in the arms of Mary, his loving mother. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, how bad was your death, but how gently you were removed from the cross. Help me to treat others kindly always. The 14th station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now important to bury the body of Jesus quickly, for it was almost sunset. Some disciples of Jesus went to a nearby garden and found a new tomb that belonged to Joseph of Arimathea, who was also a disciple. They laid our Lord's body in the tomb and covered the entrance to the tomb with a rock. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, help me to carry on your work. Help me to be like Jesus. Help me to share my life and love more fully. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining me in this journey.